Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Coming to you again, going to show you what I sold on eBay, selected items from the week of December 2nd to December 8th, 2019. Had to make sure I got those dates straight for you. Again, I am Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay since about 2005. Started out selling stuff out of my house. Then went to doing some consignment, got into training, and uh, right now, currently, I am doing a lot of parts and out of appliances. Tons of consignment and doing lots of training, which I love. So let's get right started here. This is um, my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it if you like. Please like the video. It means a lot to me. It tells me I'm giving you guys the value that you want. All right, let's get the show on the road. Uh, hopefully... I'm not going to be redundant with the items I've sold. <clears throat> Again, I do a lot of parting out of items. Here we have a uh, Maytag uh, basket. Obviously didn't make too much money. Silverware basket off of this. This went first class. Probably made... Oh. <laughs> maybe eight bucks. Maybe seven bucks on this. But uh, what I how I ship these is I use a real thick white plastic that I found a big roll in a FedEx dumpster. And I just wrap it uh, real tight around the item and slap a uh, first class label on it. Goes out first class, weighs probably about five or six ounces. So that's how I save on shipping on that. Let me uh, real quickly just go over the first listing like I always do to show you how I list an item and give you some tips and tricks. Title, I keep it very, uh, search oriented search word keyword oriented don't worry about grammar stuff like that keep special characters out of it uh, when I'm selling a used item I always use the uh, the condition description uh, all depends whether I use free shipping or not I gear that towards um, what others have sold if they've uh, sold uh, with free shipping, then I use free shipping. If they haven't, then I don't use free shipping. I'm not a big fan of free shipping just because I just don't like it that much, to be honest with you. No other reason, but it does sell your items faster. You get better search results. I am using PayPal. eBay is migrating everybody over to managed payments, which should be easier. Uh, I'm just sticking with PayPal until the very end. My pictures I take with my phone, pretty basic. I try and use a back, a, a white background, taking all angles of the item. I got this dishwasher for free. Let me make this small. You don't need to be seen my ugly mug that much. There's your condition description. I try and use item specifics. Remember when you're using item specifics to try and use, do your best to use the pull down menu. Whatever's in the pull-down menu is what you want to use. Those have been searched by millions of buyers. You can add one in there if you like or select something different, put your own in, but you want to try and stick with what's already in there. Uh, Google and uh, eBay love item specifics. Each day, eBay uploads all their listings to Google. That's why you want to make sure you use item specifics if you can. Really, if you can, you really must. Just figure out a way on how to use them. My descriptions are very basic. Basically, it's the same thing up here that I copy down the description. I don't go crazy with descriptions. I just, when I'm selling parts anymore, I, I, I just put this in here. Please make sure that the item will fit your appliance. I'm not responsible for item not fitting. Um, a lot of people don't read part numbers and they just assume it's going to fit and it doesn't. And I can't eat it on a return if you're not watching what your... Uh, what you're buying let me show you shipping real quick i ship uh, global shipping through ebay internationally it's called gsp how that basically works is ebay has a site down in kentucky let me grab a sip of something here that when you're shipping internationally you ship it to them and ebay takes it from there you must pack it properly and correctly and once ebay gets it if something happens uh, it's on eBay. They pay it. They pay you. Um, if it gets lost, stolen, broken, whatever, it's on eBay. Um, there are pros and cons to this. The pro is it's so easy to use. The con is that uh, you're being your uh, buyer is being charged some more taxes and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure I'm losing sales by using it, but it's so easy. 
I'm going to keep on using it, but I'm going to experiment with uh, doing uh, regular international shipping uh, just manually, like we used to do back in the old days. Um, I pick economy shipping 90% of the time. That allows me to use any of the options on eBay, uh, post office, FedEx, whatever, priority box, whatever. Um, it does show that it takes longer to ship. I may lose a few sales with that. I really should offer two options, one economy and one priority. I just haven't really done that. I guess I'm being lazy. But uh, I like economy because it gives me the options of picking whatever I need to pick to get it there as fast as possible. Now, I normally send my stuff out 80% of the time, priority or FedEx ground. Rarely do I ever use any other options, then I don't use any other options. It's usually the priority or FedEx ground, 30-day return period, and again, I use PayPal to um, as a payment plan. All right, let's go on to the next item here. Like I said, I'm going to try not to make these redundant. Here is a car that I don't even know where I got this from, to be honest with you. I don't know if somebody either gave it to me or I got it through a consignment deal and they said, don't worry about it. Just keep everything. That happens a lot too with consignment. That's one of the nice things about doing consignment. <clears throat> um, like I said, I do most of my pictures on my phone. This was taken on my front step, actually. I know it's not a white background. Sorry for that dinging. I'm in the coffee shop. I'm sitting right next to the doorbell thing, the door ringing. <clears throat> Um, I know it's not on a white background, but I did sell it. I did not get much for it. I thought this would sell for much more than it did, but it did not. It actually went to somebody very locally. I think it went to somebody in Raleigh. That's where I live, North Carolina. <clears throat> what I make on this? I'm trying. Not much. Maybe 12 bucks. Found a box. Perfect fit. Packing material and put it in there. It did not go first class because this sucker was heavy. It went priority. <clears throat> Uh, small engine parts sell well, especially stuff that's not available anymore. This is still available. It did take a while for it to sell. This was not a big dollar sale. It did go first class, found a tiny box for it, uh, went well under $4.99. So I, I did okay. It just sits in my store for a real, real long time. Um, and the problem is, some, I'll be honest with you, and, and, and I'm up front and honest with you guys, some of these small items are hard to find after a while because they get sort of lost in my inventory i know that shouldn't happen but it just does luckily i found this one without a problem but i need to take better care of my inventory but uh, small engine stuff does sell I, I i do a lot with um with small engine stuff get a lot of free stuff on craigslist and people give it to me so the parts do sell just be aware when you're parting out something how much time you're spending parting it out you don't want to spend two days parting out something to make 50 bucks. Excuse me, just watch your time. Uh, again, I think I've shown these houses before. They have tanked big time. They used to be uh, big time uh, money makers back in the day. I took these on as consignment about a year ago, and we both thought we'd make a lot of money. I did not do a lot of research. The woman was in the jam. She was moving, and she just wanted them out of her house, and uh, called up a couple months later and said these things aren't worth what they were but i've been feverishly listing them this year for blowout prices and i normally don't do uh, free shipping on consignment items uh, people ask me what are your consignment rates they are 50 percent for the first hundred and go down after that and people go "Ooh, that's a lot of money consignments a lot of work i'm responsible for your item i spend between an hour and four hours on each item making sure it's cleaned listed and i pump everything out to social media all the time so it's a lot of work i love it i love consignment i love working with people and i love getting items for free basically i'm not running around thrifting and everything um so i didn't make all that much money uh, i'm going to give this woman some money probably uh february or march once i unload most of these so if i was doing consignment i get half of that 27.99 uh, the fees are paid by the buyer so um not much money uh it has a box for it, but I never ship it uh, in its box itself. I put it inside a box. I don't think it's right to ship something in its original box like that with a postage label on it. People like their original boxes clean. <clears throat> so that's what I did there. It's a shame these houses aren't going for more than what they were going for back then. 
another consignment item, gentleman I know, a friend of mine, his father passed away a couple years ago, unfortunately, and he had a huge match bo matchbox collection. We have sold a lot of them, and this is a few, or this is one of the other ones, and they have another one coming up too, several in this video. Um, I don't even know what this thing is. I looked it up. I always Google the item first, and I also use WorthPoint too, which will be a link down there for WorthPoint. It's an affiliate link. Uh, trust me, guys, I'm not making much money on the affiliate links. Maybe uh, not much, a buck maybe, if that, for each person that uh, clicks on it. Uh, this is, I found this on Google, the description, the production year and everything, and I put all that stuff in the item specifics. Some kind of tank this is. Real quick, this background is basically a dollar store, a dollar tree uh, poster board, uh, thick poster board, and then the uh, the show poster board on the um, on the top like that, and a dollar store sunbeam lamp is what I used for my pictures. Not bad for a dollar tree uh, thing. Let me show you what I do also. The last picture is always a close-up of the, um, I'm having trouble today, is a close-up of the model number. I stated that there's, I don't know why these things are popping up like this. Um, I stated that there's some rust on the, uh, on the car. Let's move on to the next one here. I'm trying to go as fast as I can for you guys on value your time too. another uh, Lamax uh, Christmas ornament or figurines uh, again free shipping I don't want to do free shipping on consignment items because it just makes calculations a little more difficult but I'm just trying to get rid of this stuff <clears throat> uh, half of that let's say nine bucks yeah, didn't make much money on this, to be honest. I'm just worried about getting this stuff out of here, to be honest with you, and getting the sales up. So just watch what you're doing <laughs> when you're getting items and really research them. Ah, dishwasher racks. This is my go-to thing. Got this dishwasher for free off of Craigslist. This literally was about two blocks away from my house. First thing I do when I get a dishwasher is pull the racks out. Well, first thing I do is look up the parts. If, if they if they give you the model number of Craigslist, that's great. Because I can look up the parts before I get it and say, yes, it's a keeper or no, let it go. Um, I looked up these parts. I just went and got this one. It was actually working. But uh, just got it and uh, sold this rack within a day. So uh, not a whole lot of money. Most of my sales are between, as you've seen, pretty low like $10 and below, all the way up to like 40, 50 bucks. I do get those gems where I'm making a couple hundred bucks, but rare and far and few between, I believe it's the little sales that keep you going. Um, real quick with these. So the first thing I do is I pull out the racks. And those are the first things I list. Then I uh, pull out the control board and, uh, and timer, stuff like that. But Let's go even before that. I'm sorry. I always try and take a screenshot of the Craigslist ad so I know what's wrong with it. Like if it says, oh, it leaks. Well, then I'm pretty sure the control board works. If it says, well, it has an electrical issue, mm, I stay away from trying to sell the control board. Um, do I test these things out totally? No, I don't. I, I, I just sell them. And do I get uh, returns? Sometimes I do on control boards. And you know what I do? I give them an immediate return. Uh, return for item, return for shipping. I don't even question. I just, I, I just give immediate money back and say keep the item or trash the item. I don't get upset. There was a day when I used to get so upset with returns it would ruin the whole day. It is just part of business. So let me show you what I do here real quick with the pictures. At the end here, let's click on this. Yeah, this is, this is like having trouble here. Okay. So here, I take p angles, pictures of all the angles, the dishwasher rack, and the last picture is usually the model number, tag, and serial number. Let me tell you how I pack these things, just so you know. It's real easy. I Frankenstein a box, um, which I mean, or Franken box, whatever they call it, a box. I go buy a heavy-duty box, either at Lowe's or Home Depot, a large one, cut it, slit it, 
open it up, flip it over so the writing's on the inside, and then just collapse it around the dishwasher and fold it on each end and tape the living heck out of it. And that is all I do. I've never had one get damaged. I've even used non-heavy-duty boxes. And I've never had one get damaged. I used to use packing bubbles and wrap and all this other stuff and a big box but um, now most of them go out uh, 23 by 23 by 9 or 23 by 23 by 6 weighing in at about 7 to 8 pounds and I usually ship these things FedEx ground I think this one went down to South Carolina I can't remember I think this went out post office priority because it was so close but there was money in parts lots of money in parts don't don't let don't think there's not a lot of money in parts there is okay here's a uh, here's an item that was under consignment that I looked and looked and looked online and Google and worth point and everything and I couldn't find the exact price on it my guess is I think I priced it too low but you know what 84 bucks was consignment item so I made half of that went first class um, because it sold so quickly is why I'm saying I think I saw, uh, priced it too low uh, the, the guy messaged me immediately and asked me if I could put it in a small box or a small padded envelope to fit into a apartment mailbox uh, door, you know, apartment slot door. Good thing he messaged me right away because I get my stuff out quickly. Sometimes I even get my stuff out within the hour. But, um, hey, it was a good sale. Um, I love these matchboxes. They they do sell, but these, this isn't a matchbox, but these little uh, scale cars uh, do sell well. I stated no box because there was no box. And if there is a box, I say with box, uh, in okay condition, even if it's in good condition, because people are real crazy about the box quality of these cars. You can even sell the empty boxes if they're in good shape. So I did pretty good on here. Again, the background is the dollar store background. Now, this thing had, see why I think this was worth more, because it had things like, see how the seats fold down? So, but hey, whatever. Live and learn. <clears throat> Another car. This was priced properly. This is what they were selling for, and this sold within two days. Another consignment item. Um, so, just always Google your item before you list it on eBay or do your research and research it on eBay and WorthPoint. Use those three to come up with the price. Take your time researching. Research, research, research. Just like the last car, I should have researched more instead of just listing it at 89. But it was good. It sold. It's out of the house. Money in my pocket and money in his pocket too. So it's good. <clears throat> Christmas plates, uh, slow sales. Christmas stuff sells all year round. Thankfully, that's how I sold a lot of those Lamex houses and Department 56 stuff that really tank. Funny story about this plate. It was going to Seattle, Washington, I think. I wrapped it really good with uh, packing paper, put it in a poly envelope, sent it out first class. <clears throat> Buyer messaged me through eBay a week later saying, eh, it looks like it's in New Jersey. What? So I look on the post office site. It looks like it got to Seattle. Then it took another trip to the East Coast for some reason. I guess it wanted to see the country or something. Finally worked its way back. A week later, she gets it. Two weeks later, she gets it. Hey, she wasn't mad at me, and I was clear with her that I'm not in control of the post office, but she did get it, and she was happy. This is a consignment item that I got. Uh, actually, this is a consignment item slash, hey, you can just keep it, which I love those consignment deals. Did not make a lot of money with free shipping. Probably made about $7 on this. But, hey, it's gone is the way I look at it. I am becoming more and more of an uh, inventory is the enemy person. Uh, a very, very low sale here, free shipping, a very old piece of uh, computer equipment. Don't discount old computer equipment. Like, this stuff is, like, like ancient, like years old, new in the box, sealed. I think a friend gave it to me. I can't remember where I got this from, to be honest with you. But I was clear to take all the pictures. I even took pictures of the barcode and the model number so they know. I put all that in there. Like, again, I said, it's not a big-time sale with free shipping. I probably made about 11 bucks on this. But it was a sale. It was a quick ship. I think I put it into a poly envelope, maybe into a small box. Hey, another house. Yay! 
uh, sold this uh, pretty quickly. I think this went to uh, w w within Raleigh. Um, people say, well, do you do local pickup? I try and stay away from doing local pickup. I'll be honest with you because a lot of times it ends up to be a Craigslist transaction. Well, can you meet me at the gas station at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? No, it's a bad time. Well, I'm only available at 5 o'clock. Well, I can't do 5. Can you meet me next week? I just don't have time for it. It's just easier for me to ship it. At times, I've even eaten the shipping just to ship it to somebody. Um, it's just not worth it. But it did pretty good. Now, what I do here, again, this is the same background with the dollar store things. I plugged a light in on these. As you can see, there's a light there. And I turned the light off on my little dollar desk lamp. So people can see what it looks like with the light on. And it's pretty dark. I always take a picture of the box and the item number. But that's what I do with these. And um, like I said, I do not ship it in the, uh, I, I do not ship that box out with a label on it. I put that box into another box. Got three more items left here. A pressure washer pump that I got for nothing. Got a pressure washer a year ago, probably. This stuff sits around for a while sometimes when small engine stuff sits in the backyard. I forget about it. <laughs> um, sold it as for parts not working because I have no idea if it works or not. Selling as parts for not working. It may be working order but i have no idea i'm very honest i took all angles i even took pictures of the model numbers that were on there i have no idea what they are i googled it and i um worth point didn't have anything on it but i put all the information i could in the item specifics and sold it within about a week i did very well on that for something i got for nothing so i've already sold the pump for 31.99 Probably made about 24 bucks, 20, no, maybe probably 26 bucks on that. Shipping wasn't 14.99, it was less than that. And I sold the wheels for another $30 plus shipping. I think that's all I sold off of that pressure washer that I got for free. I don't even try and get things running anymore. I used to play around trying to get them running and flip them on Craigslist. It's just not worth it. Even if I get something in that's running, people give me, I just part it out. It's just not worth it for me to, to mess around with Craigslist or Facebook with small engine stuff three more items left remotes 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 don't discount remotes i get these for about a dollar a piece or i don't pay any more than a dollar a piece maybe two dollars i'll pay for a remote they all go out first class no matter what size the remote is i've done a video check it out on my channel on how to test remotes and how i take pictures of remotes always take a picture of the uh, battery compartment with no batteries in it showing there's no damage if there is acid Try and clean it out with either vinegar or some baking soda. I don't ship them with batteries because it adds to the weight, and I state that in the listing. Hopefully, it's in this listing. Oops. <laughs> well, I don't ship it with batteries, and I put it in a, a wrap it in bubble wrap, put it in a poly envelope, goes out first class, free shipping. Let me see, I paid a dollar for this. I probably made about $12. On this, I bought a bunch of them for a dollar a piece. I did real well with Direct TV, <laughs> Glow in the Dark remotes. Sold two of those for twenty some dollars a piece, a piece plus shipping. So don't discount remotes. How you test them out? There's a video I did on testing them out too. Check it out on my channel. I um, take my phone, put it on camera mode, and uh, press a button and see <laughs> if the infrared light goes on. I press all the buttons to test all the buttons out, and I take a picture of the light on so in the uh, for the listing show that this working he was thrilled with it got two more listings to go uh, this originally was a consignment item i was consigning for a friend of mine clearing out several storage units he finally said heck with it just keep anything under 100 bucks i didn't make much money on i mean didn't make a ton of money on this went in a um regular priority the bigger boxes sort of local i think it was somewhere in north carolina or south carolina uh just wrapped it took a little off wrapped it in paper wrapped the bottom bowl in paper uh, shipped it out got there in one piece without a problem probably made about uh, 12 dollars on this after shipping and expenses um toughest part was trying to take that picture there believe it or not as you can see it could have been better tried doing it on a white background couldn't get the um the lettering correctly Last one, and a horror story. We always save the worst for last. 
walking up the street with the dogs last month saw a oven stove combination St oven stove <laughs> yeah i guess that's right um in somebody's garage i went whoa what are you gonna do with that and well, we're gonna take it to the scrap yard i went hang on i took a picture of the model number oh i don't have a picture of model number usually i do in the inside door most of the stuff is found either on the inside door or uh on the edge of the door whether it's dishwasher or oven or whatever refrigerator ran home after walking the dogs looked it up and went i can get 119 dollars just for the cover on the door this is the cover this is not the whole door this is four screws one screw here one screw here one screw here one screw here comes off little torque screws cleans it up really good front back showed there was a little mark in the handle sell it two days later i was stoked packet um ran uh, uh, uh tape big x over the window both sides put a uh, big thick fire uh, styrofoam um packing what do you call white foam over the both sides of the windows tape that wrap it with foam and bubble wrap and everything else frankenstein a box around everything ship it off buyer gets it glass is shattered i was like what glass was shattered uh, i am i uh, put a claim in the fedex fedex has been pretty good with me i've had a problem with something else before and they've cut me checks pretty quick Put a, put a claim in about two weeks ago. I haven't heard anything back yet. I'm hoping to get reimbursed for this. Obviously, I refunded the buyer immediately. Um, the whole fee, obviously, the, the cost and then shipping. That was a big-time sale I lost. But, hey, it happens. It's part of business. It didn't even get me upset. Like it, I mean, I was upset, but it didn't like destroy my whole day like it used to be. Returns are part of the business. That's one lesson I can teach people is returns are part of the business. So that is it for that week, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a little shorter. And uh, remember several things. The riches are in the niches. Sell things that you know, whether it's your hobby, interest, stuff you do on your job. Become an expert in that and always be looking around for other niches and other things to sell. Because sometimes your niche dries up. Also, don't forget, uh, I run the eBay meetup group. We meet second Thursday of the month in Raleigh. Get about 12 to 20 people showing up. It's growing, which is wonderful. I also do a lot of training. Message me if you need some training. I do one-on-one, -on -one, small group, large group, Skype, Zoom, whatever online venue you want to use. We can do that. Uh, I just love what I do. Um, it fits into my life. It gives me a lot of freedom and stuff like that. So just check out my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and please like the video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.